Hello and welcome to Crez, the complete basketball system. In this demo, I'd like to show you how Crez can webcast stats live or post game. First, I will show you how to capture and webcast live games and send the data up to Max Preps post game. I will also show you how to webcast post game. Why would you want to do this? Well, you can webcast post game if you don't have internet in the gym. And another reason would be you did not purchase a Crez webcast or one of the Crez licenses. Third, I'll show you how to capture and webcast just box scores or score sheets and send these up to Max Preps as well. And finally, I'll give you an overview of the webcast site itself. So let's get into this. Let's uh, start with capturing uh, a game and webcasting it live. Go back to the main menu. Uh, let's create a new game. So we'll click new game stats. We'll create a uh, pull an existing team. Let's use Boston Celtics. Let's load up uh, an existing team for the away team. And we'll save and start this game. Now we're in game stats. In game stats, Crez offers four different ways to score a game. Here we're going to use the point and click method. Before we start scoring, let's set up the webcast. So we'll enable it for a 10 second refresh. That means the data will be sent to the webcast every 10 seconds. I'll test the connection. I'll open up the page where the stats will appear. Stats have not been sent. So let's go back to the game stats, say OK. And now, if I do a refresh, there's the opening game. 20 minutes still left on the clock. Let's go back to game stats, uh, start the clock up. And let's say, make a three point shot. Let's take a two point shot and get a defensive rebound. We can do fouls nicely and indicate who was fouled. Steals and automatically it asks for who's, who committed the turnover. So we can keep on going like this, scoring the game. Game clock keeps going down, can be monitored. Let's stop the game clock and let's go back and take a look at the webcast site and see the stats appearing. So there's the stats appearing in real time. You can view this anywhere on the planet. So you're scoring in your gym. If you're a high school coach, you can now feel like a pro, webcast your games and this is all part of the Crez system. Let's go back to game stats and let's say I wanted to uh, take a completed game and create a, a max preps file out of it. Under file I go to generate I indicate max preps home or away. Do you want to save the changes? Sure we'll save the changes. We'll create a max preps file ask us if they want to open it. This is standard Max Preps files. You would log in under your coach ID at the Max Preps site and upload this particular file. Next thing that we'd like to take a look at is webcasting just post game. How do we do that? So let's close up this game stats. Let's go back to the games. And let's find an existing game. Here's a game. Vermont Catamounts and Hartford Hawks game that took place February 20, 20th 2008 let's just go ahead and webcast it webcast let's uh, view the webcast there's webcast page and let's click OK and the webcast was successful and let's refresh the screen and there's Vermont Hartford. So post game, it's very easy to webcast the game. Here's the whole play-by-play -play uploaded to the webcast site. Uh, and here are all the players and their box score stats. Very easy to do. Let's go over to capturing webcast box scores or score sheets. Go back to the main menu, create a game, create a new box score. Let's load another team. Let's say uh, Cleveland. I'll make Cleveland a team. Let's load up uh, Vermont again. We'll open them up. And here is how you can just go ahead and enter a box score. So for, if you've captured the data using uh, paper and pencil and you just want to enter it, you can go ahead and indicate the made two point, attempted two point, made two point, attempted two point. You can just populate this 
as you see fit with steels and blocks and personal files and so on and so forth. And once you've got it, have it to a certain point, I'll just save this game and we will webcast. So here's the webcast game and I'll just say webcast. Go back to the game and here it is. It's not a complete game but there's the points and the setup. Uh, the other thing you can do from here is if you've entered a box score you can create the files for Max Preps Home and Away. So let's create a home one again. I'll save the changes, save, Max Preps created successfully. Let's open it and there it is, another Max Preps file that you can upload to the Max Preps site. Just sign on as a coach and upload the file according to Max Preps. Uh, if you would like to also enter just plain old score sheets, you can flip this to a score sheet and here it's point and click and you can go ahead and enter score sheet data. So at the end of the game, grab the score sheet from the score, pump it into Crez, and now you're able to webcast those stats for your family, friends, uh, players to view, and at the same time you can send it up to Max Preps. So this is a great tool for you to have at your disposal and this whole part is free. You can uh, record the games live, you can capture stats post game, and you can webcast post game and there is no charge for you doing that. Let's close up this window, go back to our uh, plan here, we did one, two, three, now let's head to the webcast site itself. So here's a webcast site, we can take a look at, uh, we've webcast some games for Vermont, let's take a look at Vermont as a team. There's some other games here, so we have the box score game for Cleveland, Boston, there's also the Hartford, Boston University, Albany and Bingham and Bearcats, there's all the players all their stats, any column that you click on you can sort by. So let's see who has the most offensive rebounds. And there they are, number 23. We can flip this to totals. So now we know it's three for one. If you fl flip to averages you end up having the shooting percentage itself. So let's take a look at uh, individual player stats. And here is Marcus Blakely for these games. And if you want to see the details for any of these games, we just click the details button, and there it is. Let's go back to the webcast home. If you want to look at a tournament or, or, or a league or a conference or whatever you want, you can go ahead and do that. We can take a look at the Premier Basketball League for 2009. Here is their standings for each of the teams. When we do a conference or a tournament, you get individual leaders. So here is AJ Million as the top point getter currently in the season. And if you want to find out who is the top steal getter, we'll click on that and wait for the update. And here it is, Rasheed Johnston for Battle Creek Knights is getting 2.7 steals per game. So that is the Crez webcast system. If you want to go ahead and download the free Crez score product, go to the Crez website www.crezbasketball.com. We hope you enjoy using the Crez product and hopefully you'll have a wonderful productive season. Take care.